Hey everyone, Morten Olstad here, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd do another uh, Lost Classic or Lost Man of the 1990s and being a, represent a representative of the Scandinavian countries uh, and even the Nordics, I thought I would pick uh, an artist or a band uh, and a record from Iceland. Um, most of you out there may know Iceland for Björk, of course, and sugar cubes, uh, but also perhaps uh, Seagull Rose or Victory Rose, uh, the very wonderful ambient band that I have a little bit of a connection to. I went from college with uh, the bass player from that band in Denmark in the late 1990s. Um, but speaking of uh, going to school, in uh, Iceland in the middle of the 90s, uh, a group of students uh, came together like a collective of students, uh, if you like. They uh, were uh, graphical artists, they were video and film artists, they were musicians, uh, uh, actors, and all sorts of things. And they released an album, uh, which I uh, haven't heard, never seen it in the wild. Um, in 1995, I don't think a whole lot of the world paid attention to that. But their second album did get some uh, uh, attention and traction around the world, um, and so did their second and uh, no third, and I guess their fourth. Um, they've been releasing albums um, since then, and I very recently uh, bought uh, one from Discogs. I'm not sure how old it is, 2014 or something. So I just listened to it, and they're still uh, very much relevant. They're a uh, uh, tech. Techno synth ambient, um, let's say, um, alternative uh, electronica band. Uh, you can dance to them, you can chill out to them. Um, and uh, with any, without any further ado, I give you Gus Gus. So this album I bought in 1997, it's called Poly Distortion. This is a two CD deluxe edition from back then. And it is banging. It's just it's otherworldly. It's so cool. Um, I don't know how many members this band has gone through over the years. I don't know. Southward of 40. I <laughs> They seem to change members a lot, and they go from having like one, two, three, four, yeah, what, there's like nine people on this photo to three now or something. But it's just sounds and clicks and soundscapes and close your eyes and see Iceland. Uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 an, uh, it's it's an amazing experience. And their second album, uh, which came out, I think there was a bit of a lull, but uh, it had a smallish hit um, with a cheeky uh, uh, lady shave. And um, this is normal, I guess, guess. Um, the, type, the name of the band is from a uh, German film where um, a woman is serving or making a uh, dinner uh, dish that she can't pronounce, so she pronounces it Gus Gus. And uh, of course the dish is Pus Pus. So that's where the name of the band comes from. And then they released their fourth album, uh, Gus Gus Forever. And this is uh, so it was also an album I enjoyed, and then fifteen years have passed, and then uh, I was thinking about making this video. And I checked out what they've been up to, and they released lots of more CDs and records. So I just got this one last week, twenty four seven. And like I said, I think. Reduced to a trio now. So, if you wanna, if you wanna broaden your horizon, uh, check out some music from the Nordic countries, and in particular Iceland. 
and you like electronic music, I highly recommend Gus Gus. Um, I would start with Poly Distortion. It's, it's a wonderful album. Um, as far as vinyl goes, um, that's going to be a bit of a tough one. Uh, I see some of them out there on Discogs for some of the releases, and they're quite expensive. Some of the latest releases have been released on vinyl, which seems to be the norm these days. But uh, yeah, uh, you might have to contend with CDs. So I hope you um, um, got them a little bit of an inspiration from watching this. And uh, I hope you wouldn't mind clicking like and subscribe. And I will see you again soon in another video. Please take care. Bye.